To access your Google Drive, you'll click on Employees from the Camera Home screen. Then you'll click on Google Edge Apps in the center column. Click on Google Docs. Then to log in, you'll use your Conroe first class username and your password is EMP and the last five of your social. To create a document, you'll click on Create, Document. And you create your document just like you would in any other word processing program. To change the title of your document, you'll click on Untitled Document and just type your name for your new document. And click OK. As you type, it saves automatically and it tells you all changes saved and it tells you how long ago it saved it. If you would like to share your document with someone else, just click the share button And it asks you if you want to invite people, you can enter their name or you can enter their email address. So if I want to share this with Pat DeGrella, I would just start typing her name and I've shared with her before so she comes up right away. Otherwise it gives you a list of names that you can choose from if you don't know their address. I, you can choose to let them edit your document or they can just view your document and cannot change it. So you would click on the down arrow here to change that. You can add a message to the person. Um, it sends them an email to invite them. You can add the message. You can send a copy to yourself so that you know it went through and then you just click share and save. Then you click done and it has shared your document. The good thing about making documents or presentations in Google Drive is that if your computer crashes you don't have to worry about whether it was saved uh, on your U Drive or where it was saved because it will always be in your Google Drive when you log in. Another feature of Google Drive is they've added this search bar right here um, on the page so if you wanted to add an image you just click on that search click image and if I want to search for an image of a computer, it does the search automatically. And if I find one that I like, I can just drag it over into my document or my presentation. And it automatically adds a footnote. You see that little one next to the picture? It puts a footnote of where you got the document from. Another feature that you might be interested in is on the Tools button up here, you can have it define a word. So if I wanted to define the word today, I would highlight the word today, click on Tools, and click Define, and it will define the word over to your right. Those are just some of the basic features of Google Drive. I hope that helps you to be able to use it in a more comfortable manner.